everyone this is lily rose welcome to my channel today i'll be doing a card reading and a little psychic drawing to see what's going on in the connection today this week uh the general vibration of this reading um the collective energies have been off the hook okay <laughs> all right uh for all you dfs dms out there you know it has been wild all right so let's see i want to start off with um a little psychic drawing i haven't done this in a while there have been some people requesting um that i do the writings by hand and also the drawings um again so i'm gonna do a drawing and i'll probably come up with a writing for you guys um very very soon okay all right um okay let's see what comes out here and i chose the blue because um i usually choose these colors instinctively and the blue came out because of the throat chakra of the communication that frequency this is the frequency you need this week um with your twin with your person if you are not a twin flame watching this video it's okay um it's with your person you guys need blue you need some communication like open communication between the two of you and you also need to tap into that vibration of unconditional love which means seeing the other person as part of you or an aspect of yourself and just you know trying to hold space for that person as much as you can as long as you're not destroying yourself in the process okay there will be little deaths but not a big death okay you're obviously going to be stripped you know you the universe is stripping you and your person naked right to show your authentic self to this person and this is this is what is going on um okay let's just do the drawing all right let's see spirit give us some guidance for the collective here twin flames higher soulmates anyone watching this video what what do we want to bring into to their attention right now I want to start off okay Oh, wow. So Spirit is starting off this psychic drawing with a bang, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm getting this number, and I'm also getting... You can do this for yourself as well and you can this helps you to practice your symbolism for dream interpretation and all of that sometimes i don't even finish the drawings and then we get words before finishing the drawing so i'm going to go into this drawing read some of the symbols for you if you have other meanings for the symbols do put it in the comments it does help people here other people um to you know open their chakra their chakras and get downloads all right so the first drawing i have here i it was just a scribble right and um then it came out that it was a igloo because i got that cold and then they said igloo right um so it makes me feel that the weather is cold and for a lot of us we are in winter but um it means that the connection might be cold right now or you might be feeling cold you might be feeling like you want someone to wrap you with a nice blanket you might be feeling like you want some love you might be feeling like your person is not giving you enough and spirit has this igloo right that they made out of the cold that you can go in and you can feel warm inside all right so they're saying it's not because your person seems cold it not, it's not because this connection has gone cold, 
that it is cold. That's your perception of it. So what spirit wants you to know, because it seems like it was like a haze and then you saw the igloo. So it's kind of like in this haze of confusion, there is a safe place for you. In this haze of a relationship, there is a safe place for you here. And your person is not all cold, even though you may think so. Spirit is saying that's not the truth. They do have feelings for you and they do want to be with you. But for whatever reason, all they can offer right now is this igloo. And they're working on it. Okay, so we, get, we have an apology right here from your person. I'm getting that apologetic um, feeling. They're like, I've been cold with you. I have been ghosting you. I have been not been connecting with you. But my intentions and the love that I feel for you is great. And this is why there's this ego right here. Um, your person doesn't have all the tools to welcome you as much as they should. Uh, and when I say all the tools, I mean that some of them might be suffering from mental illness. Some of them might be suffering from some disorders. Some of them might be um, needing some therapy. Some of them might need needing some coaching in order to welcome you. And so this is what they're working on here. When they're away from you, they want to work on this. At least spirit is triggering them to work on it. Now, the second drawing. It's very interesting. We have a mountain and we have the sun. The sun is usually like a father figure. Or like... Um, it's kind of like that male authoritative figure in your life, right? I'm not talking about the sun card here. I'm talking about this symbol right here. And we have mice and men. So it's kind of like for this person, your person to climb that mountain for you. Spirit is asking, where is the courage? Put fear beside, behind, put it in your pocket. I mean, we all need some sort of fear, right? That's what drives us sometimes. That's what keeps us in check from doing stupid stuff. But only a little we don't need a lot so we need to find that courage i'm gonna write courage here for your person to climb that mountain for you and sometimes they have bursts of courage and that's when they contact you and then they realize oh my god what am i getting myself into and then they just go flatline right so i feel here that your person is working on themselves they're not telling you they're trying to find the courage to do this, come towards you. We also have the water, so they're all in their emotions. We have number 21, which is a master number. So they're mastering their emotions. They're mastering themselves. And they're diving deep into this water of emotions and spirituality to figure out what they need to do next. Um, I feel your person is going through it like never before. Like before they thought that their feelings for, for you were could could go away with time and it's not i see this turban and headdress here as them like putting on finally the wardrobe of someone who is spiritual someone who needs to take care of their wisdom and to take it seriously because here is like wisdom and strength right they need to protect themselves Take care of their wisdom and strength and take it seriously. I'm getting the white, white headdress, which is all about spirituality and finally giving. So if your person has always taken from you, they're going to start to give back to you. If your person has treated you bad, they're going to start to give you warmth. If your person has not been emotional, they're going to start being emotional. If your person has not been courageous, they're going to start being courageous. You'll see it in little things. They'll make little efforts first, and then it's going to just go into a little snowball, right? Um, what spirit wants from you, if you can, is to send them love and light. Because in some way, there is an aspect of you in them. And if you send them love and light, it's just going to bounce right back to you, okay? So I know it's hard for some of you to hear this, but... Um, this is the message I'm getting for you. So I'm going to pull some cards from this psychic drawing. So what 
this psychic drawing is saying that the energies are picking up and the DM energies are actually making advances. They are improving and they are coming towards you. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. Spirit, give us some more messages. Direct messages from your person with the cards. So if you are a DF or a DM, <laughs> I can hold the space for you for discussion. That's what I do with some of my clients. You know, um, you're going through this journey. You think you're alone. Um, I have many, many clients who are uh, twin flames. And um, we can totally be in a non-judgmental space <clears throat> that's confidential where you can speak about this and where I give you little tips and tricks about, you know, what you can do about what's going on in that situation and all of that. And also sometimes you just want to be heard. You don't want any advice at all. You just want somebody to just sit and listen. That is possible as well. And that's what happens as well sometimes during our sessions. Okay. Um... So it's a spiritual type of coaching twin flame session. That is um, something that I offer. So if you do want to have that, you can go to my website, lilypsychicrose.com and um, just click on spiritual coaching or like coaching anyone and um, just make your request by email. Okay. So what we have here is the harvesting of the seeds. You have planted many seeds within this person and now you are reaping the harvest. Your person also has planted seeds in their job and with their career and they are reaping the harvest. So they have had new opportunities that they are taking on right now and they have less time for you. Even though they want to be with you so bad, they have less time. Um, so they have to kind of prioritize. They're like, okay, twin or my job? Which one is more important? Twin or money? Which one is it? So it's like a, it's all up in the air. What should I concentrate on? The love or the money? And your person has a little attraction to love. And they also have an attraction to money and career. And so it's very kind of like hard for them to choose. But what I feel here is that your person is going to prioritize their career first. And then they're going to prioritize you. Because we see this relationship card right here with this boat. Oh my God. This is a ten of swords here. But in this card with this boat, it's like this relationship is flying with this number three. They want it to grow. So your person is feeling sad about where the relationship is right now. And they're wondering, how can I make this grow? How can I make this grow into what I want it to be? Like they have this dream, but they don't know how to get there. Okay. And they want to be loyal to you. They want you to know that they want to be loyal to you. With this ten of hearts, they want that with wish fulfillment with you. That like that's what they want. It it just seems to like slip out of their fingers, or it seems like they don't know if you want the same, or they're not sure uh, if it could actually work out. Like if it's just a dream, but this is what they want. They want to be your little puppy. I'm getting um for some of you um a child coming in here they want to have your child or they want you to have their child ace of swords mm -hmm. so yeah they're gonna cut with the gum i hear them saying let's cut the bs and let's do this um that's gonna be scary for them and it's gonna be scary for you we have number 11 which is you know manifestation so they're manifesting this cutting all the crap out of this relationship and just getting to the essentials the real deal the truth the emotions the triggering and the mirroring and the love the unconditional love that's what they want they, they know what they want now wow and they're saying like they feel like spirit is playing games with them because as soon as they start feeling really really good in their career Spirit is throwing the situation at them. And they know that if they um if they choose you and if they come towards you, they're gonna have to change some aspects of their career. They might have to work less, or they might have to stop taking that contract in whichever place, or stop working with whichever company, or stop working with whichever person, or stop contacting their ex, 
whatever it is they know they have to make changes and they are terrified of that little baby again baby and project send a home so they want this with you um your person is is in their feelings right now they are in their feelings and people are starting to talk okay about you guys so if you think that nobody knows about you guys listen <laughs> they be knowing okay <laughs> and your person be spying on you okay so um people are starting to know about what's going on and it feels like your person is terrified of losing everything here but they are have they're like planning this thing in their heads they're planning with other somebody they told about you they are trying to make a plan to come towards you they're trying to make this plan and they're looking to have stability so um let's see what else is going on here let me go with the good tarot on this good tarot seven of air in reverse yeah so your person just wants to get this done um like see the see into the future that's what they're saying I think they're trying new divination methods or they're seeing a psychic about you because they're spying on you spiritually as well. They, they want to know what's going to happen next. And I feel that person is telling them, okay, do this, this, and this. Okay, don't do this now. Do this then, blah, 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 blah. So you are getting readings about your person. Your person is getting readings about you and then you guys are just mirroring each other like crazy. Going back and forth, back and forth. What should I do? Oh, this psychic said this. Oh, that psychic said that. And your person and spirit is like, could you two please stop? Okay, that's what spirit is saying. Can you guys stop? Focus on the love and what you want. Patience. Patience, my dear. Be patient. You want everything to go fast, fast, fast. The clock is ticking. You're thinking, oh my God, when I'm going to have those babies? Oh my God, when I'm going to have this marriage or oh, oh my god when i'm gonna finally be with this person spirit is like stop it's all you know time is just an illusion what you do right now is what matters so if you are in union with yourself right now then it's going to manifest in your life okay try to be as peaceful in your mind and in your body as possible try to love yourself in your mind and in your body and spiritually as possible and this great transformation is yours you are you already lighted the spark on this the the first match you lighted it and so this is why you met your twin and this is what's going to happen next it's going to be out of your control <laughs> I mean, you will be able to make choices, but you won't be able to control this relationship at all. So, um, Spirit is saying to get ready for transformation. It's coming your way. And it's a big one. So just be prepared. Get all the support you can. Breathe. You know, pick up a good hobby that's going to be healthy for you. Yoga, whatever it is. Do your breathing exercises. Do your meditation. And just get ready for some major transformations coming for you DFs out there. Um, your person is feeling this transformation too because they essentially do feel uh, a part of what you feel. All right, what do they want to tell you? I mean, they've said a lot here. Oh my God, how many times does the Seven of Swords come out in reverse? One, two, three, three times. That's crazy. Can't you find another way? You know what Spirit is telling me now? They're saying, look, you have been spying on this person too. You have been getting readings on this person. You have been following their social media. You have been obsessed with this person, not telling them um, everything that, you know, that you're supposed to tell them. You prefer to spy on them than to tell them everything you're supposed to tell them, right? Listen, Spirit is saying, stop that crap. 
now you got to tell him the whole truth and nothing but the truth um so that your person stops spying on you too and that you guys manifest this into 3d and not just in your heads to our ones this the decision is about to be made Three of Pentacles, yes. You guys are working on this. Well, at least your person is working on this. They're working on a way back to you, okay? All right, so um, listen. It seems like Spirit wants you to come back to unconditional love and the truth. And it shall set you free, right? Let's get some messages from Spirit. I always like that Shakespeare quote. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Because if you are hiding things that you feel your twin would not understand, then they are hiding things they feel you would not understand. And then it's just going to be stalemate, right? Okay. Happy, happy, happy. This is the vibration you need this week. As much as possible, look at comedy, be happy with yourself, stay in that joy vibration. It's going to bring beautiful things for this connection. Six, seven, eight, self-mastery. You're coming into that self-mastery. You've come to a realization that this person is part of you. Observer. You've been observing the stars. Spirit is saying do some more of that. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Oh, that's thirteen, sorry. So that's number four. There is hope for this relationship here. Keep looking to the stars. Do some stargazing meditations. We have number four again, co-create. I mean, there is this egg here. So if some of you are looking to have a child, it is going to happen. Okay. It's going to happen. All right. So um, I won't go any further here, but... I do want to give you a nice angel number, so I'm going to give you 1852, 1852. Do check that out. And I have a few names here. So I have Jack, Stephen, Alexandra. I have Casey, Beverly, and John. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Spirit says just stop. All right, so um, do like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for me, and I will bring you more of these. Love and light. Take care.